straight out to Eric Jens, WRGA News Talk, News Director. Eric, what happened? Well, Nancy, a lot of the details in these, this case have changed slightly from the initial reports, but the main consistency and the main concern on everyone's minds tonight is where is 12-year-old Priscilla Risick? She was last seen Sunday evening about 5.15 inside that Little Caesars Pizza restaurant or just outside That's of it, actually. That's broad daylight. Yes, and you can PM. clearly see, you know, the image uh, that that was her uh, leaving, and then that's the last we see of her. We don't know exactly what happens to her after that. We have some uh, third-party witnesses, actually, that say she was uh, in that white van that you uh, spoke of earlier. Well, hold on, uh, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Eric. Uh, first of all, Diana, yeah, that's what I want to see. Bring it to me in full. I want to see the little girl. There's a the 12-year-old mm -hmm. flower girl. There's the white van. Take it from the top, Dana. I want to see her again. This little girl at a local strip mall, she and her uncle go there to sell flowers to make family money. He goes in the Little Caesars Pizza to get a quick pizza. He's only gone 10 minutes. Everything's fine. He comes out. Priscilla is gone. Now, a woman in a beauty salon says, and I've got the police report right here, that she sees the girl getting into a white van. Cops tell us that they have confirmed that she approached the white van. We're showing you the white van. Let's take it from there, Jenkinsaurus. What happens next? Because no one ever saw her get into the van. They saw her approach the van. You see the still video surveillance photos with her, another picture with a white van. But there's where the stories are divergent because what Wait, happens look, to her? Stop, 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 Jane. Look, look at her. She looks like she knows the person or or is she just running over there? She thinks somebody's going to buy flowers. It could be that. Never mind. I thought I could tell a degree of familiarity in the way she was approaching the van, but she could just be dodging over there because she thinks they're going to buy some flowers. Go ahead, Jane. But that was my initial thought. I felt her stride right there. She knew where she was going. She had a reason to do what she was doing doing and she has her jacket on her arm there you see the 12 year old little girl her family has not heard from her since this goes down in broad daylight 5 15 p.m in a strip center parking mall a strip center shopping mall take a look at 12 year old priscilla we are taking your calls but i want to get back to jenkasaurus the fact that she then tries to call her mother. What happens with that? The little girl calls her mom. Yes. The uncle calls police. Police are heading over to the mother's house. I think right when they get there, right before, she calls her mother, and this is where the story diverges too. She says, I'm with Nancy. Nancy's going to bring me back tomorrow. Nancy says she's going to call police. But then another rendition is she says, I don't know where I am. And her mother says, call the police. Get out of there. She offered me money. She was going to cash a check and give me money to buy food. Mom, I can't get away. Try to figure a way out. I, I don't know where I am. Now, how did we get two conversations? Was it just lost in the sauce? What happened? How am I getting I'm with Nancy or I don't know where I am? It's either inconsistencies or two parts to the same conversation. They could both be true, actually. She could be with someone identified as Nancy, a grown woman in, who was driving that van, and she could also not know where their location is. So both of these can be true. Uh, everyone, the tip line, 770-513-5300. There is a reward. We are looking for a 12-year-old little girl tonight. She was there at a local strip mall, Lilburn, Georgia, just outside of Atlanta, selling flowers to make money for her family at age 